gliding through majestic kelp forests, hanging weightless over the blue void, capturing images on film and video, experiencing the underwater world at night, and exploring the mysteries of a shipwreck. These and many other scuba diving adventures await you as you explore the underwater world. Your comfort in the water depends on your ability to control your movements, handle equipment, use the natural forces of gravity and buoyancy, and prepare for unforeseen problems. In this program, we'll demonstrate skills and techniques that lead to the confident, comfortable exploration of the underwater world. You'll need to master these skills under controlled conditions before venturing into the open water environment. Breath hold diving or skin diving allows us to explore the sea without scuba tanks. Practicing skin diving skills leads to comfort at the surface and underwater. Neutral buoyancy is key to relaxed and controlled movement in the water. So, a logical first step is to check your buoyancy. Take a moderate breath, hold it, and relax. The water line should be between your chin and your eyes. If you exhale, you should sink slowly. Remove or add weight to your belt to achieve neutral buoyancy. Your instructor will supervise your dives as you apply the skills you've learned in a controlled environment. An efficient surface dive pushes you underwater. Begin equalizing immediately and every few feet on descent. Kick slowly and efficiently to maximize your breath hold time. On ascent, look up and reach toward the surface. Rotate to be sure that nothing is above you. Clearing the snorkel with your face in the water allows continued viewing underwater. Rest comfortably at the surface between dives. It's not necessary to inflate your BC or snorkel vest if you are neutrally buoyant. Whether you're skin diving or scuba diving, you should strive to be relaxed and in control at the surface with your equipment in place and your face in the water. If a problem arises while skin diving, your first priority is to establish positive buoyancy. If you're wearing a weight belt, it's the only piece of equipment that offsets your inherent buoyancy. Ditching the weight belt is one of the most important skills you can learn. Open the buckle, pull the belt completely away from your body to be sure that it's not tangled in any other gear. Now, drop it. Ditching the belt provides instant buoyancy. Recovering the belt is simple. An efficient surface dive and strong kick will propel you to the bottom. Grasp the open end of the belt and roll into it. You can replace the belt on the bottom or return to the surface. Just remember to lie face down so the belt hangs across your back. Being comfortable underwater means being confident in the basic skills of scuba diving. Your instructor will guide you in these skills, and in no time they will become second nature. Establish neutral buoyancy at the surface. Your buoyancy changes when you put on a scuba tank and as you consume your air supply. Your instructor will advise you about the buoyancy factors you must consider to perform a 15-foot precautionary stop at the end of the dive. Descend along the anchor line. Remember to equalize frequently and add small bursts of air to the BC to compensate for wetsuit compression. Avoid sinking rapidly. This can make equalizing your ears difficult. If you must touch down, land in a sandy spot, disturbing little of the bottom. 
regulator, and mass clearing are basic skills that divers must be comfortable performing. Clearing water from the regulator is simple. Take the regulator out of your mouth, exhale a tiny stream of bubbles, Now, replace the regulator and exhale through it. If you're out of breath, you can use the purge button on the regulator. Pushing the button forces air into the regulator, clearing it of water. If you accidentally drop the regulator, the first thing to do is exhale a tiny stream of bubbles. Don't hold your breath. Tip to your right so the regulator hangs away from your body. Make a sweep with your arm, brushing your thigh, and then your scuba tank. Swing your arm in front of you to capture your regulator. Replace the mouthpiece and clear it. Another way to recover the regulator is to reach the hose where it attaches at the first stage. Follow the hose to find your second stage and clear it. All face masks leak a little bit at one time or another. It's easy to clear your mask. Displace the water with air. Here's how. Allow water into the mask. Exhale gently through your nose, then tilt your head until you are looking up at the surface. Begin to exhale while looking down to prevent water from running up your nose. As you add air to the mask, the water flows out at the bottom. Let's try taking the mask off completely and putting it back on. This is a useful skill if you find the need to adjust your mask strap underwater. Replace the mask and clear it. Be sure that no hair is trapped under the seal. The flutter kick starts at your hips. The downward stroke is your power stroke. With a slight bend at the knee, bring your leg down and extend your lower leg. The fin creates a powerful force that propels you forward. Keeping your lower leg extended until near the end of your upstroke adds propulsion. The dolphin kick utilizes both fins and the movement of your entire body. The downstroke is for power. When returning to the surface, monitor your ascent rate and be aware of what's above you. The anchor line or an ascent line will keep you oriented and help you control your progress. Remember that you should perform a precautionary decompression stop for at least three minutes at 15 feet. If you've added air to the BC to achieve neutral buoyancy during your dive, the air will expand on ascent, increasing your buoyancy. Vent it as needed to keep your buoyancy neutral. If you release too much air, you may begin to sink. If you don't release enough, you can rise too quickly. Objects above you can impede your safe return to the surface. Collisions with boats, buoys, jellyfish, even other divers can have disastrous results. Look up frequently while surfacing to be sure the path is clear above you. You may want to add some air to your BC to remain comfortably at the surface 
or for your swim to the boat or shore. Descending freely through crystal clear water to a coral reef truly accentuates the feeling of weightless flight. Careful control of buoyancy is essential to permit effective equalization of ears and sinuses. Add bursts of air to the BC to control your descent. Monitoring your submersible pressure gauge will minimize potential for running out of air while diving. Check your pressure gauge periodically. Out-of-air emergencies do occur, whether from overexertion or inattention. Your instructor will guide you through the skills to help yourself or others in the event of a problem. An emergency swimming ascent is a form of self-rescue. Signal to your buddy that you are out of air and are going to ascend. Keep the regulator in your mouth. Begin to exhale slowly and continuously through the regulator. Look up, reach up, and swim toward the surface at a normal ascent rate. Be prepared to vent air from the BC so that you remain in control of your ascent rate. Once at the surface, establish positive buoyancy. Another solution to an out-of-air emergency is sharing air with your buddy. Most divers today have an extra second stage called an octopus rig. The first step in sharing air is to provide a clear signal that you need air. Your buddy will respond by offering you a mouthpiece. Clear it as you would any regulator and breathe. It's important that you and your partner now remain together, so lock wrists with your right hands. This leaves your left hand free to control the BC or other tasks. You can now ascend to the surface. Other types of alternate air sources are equally effective in an out-of-air situation a mouthpiece integrated with the buoyancy compensator. Independent air sources with their own regulators like pony bottles or single unit systems. If you and your buddy don't have alternate air sources, you can share air from one regulator called buddy breathing. This method requires careful coordination between divers to be successful. Good buoyancy control enhances diving comfort in a number of ways. It helps conserve energy, helps you move easily, and it minimizes contact with the bottom which can damage both marine life and the diver. We can achieve neutral buoyancy at any depth by adding or venting air from the BC. Fly forward with your fin tips on the bottom and breathe normally. If your buoyancy is correct, the change in lung volume as you inhale and exhale will result in a slight up and down movement. With practice, you can hover effortlessly.
There are many skills you will learn as part of your scuba training. The ones we've seen in this video are key to becoming a comfortable and self-confident diver. Skin diving skills rely on body and breath control and build comfort both at the surface and underwater. Regulator and mass clearing ensure that all important breathing and vision are maintained. Controlling buoyancy while descending permits effective equalization and helps conserve energy. Proper fin kicks allow steady movement without overexertion. Knowing the equipment and techniques of sharing air prepare you to help yourself or others in the event of an out-of-air emergency. Your diving skills will become second nature as you use them on each dive. Dive often. Enjoy the beauty and freedom of the underwater world.